Hey guys, it's Ellie, and today I'm going to be doing another review. I know this has been like the fourth, first, fourth of the third review on my channel. So today's review is going to be on the L'Oreal uh, Telescopic Shocking Stick. I wanted to get the original, but it was like $14, and I was like, so this one was $9.99, I think it was $9, or like just $9, but I got the Shocking Attention one, um, yeah, and oh. I used it today on top of other mascara, and it made my eyelashes like all the way up to my eyebrows, it's like crazy, but, um, yeah, this mascara is amazing, so if you want to know, um, or just see a review on this mascara, then make sure you watch this video. Okay, so... As I said in the beginning, I used this mascara today on top of other mascara, but I haven't used it like on my bare eyelashes yet. So I'm going to try it out um, tomorrow because I'm taking a shower tonight. But you know, I'm going to bed, so I'm gonna to try to put makeup on and go to bed. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out tomorrow, and I'm going to record that so you got so you guys can see that. And I'm going to be uploading this today. Well, I might upload it. So it either might be all in the same clip or I might edit it again and you might see a, a, an added clip in there. But other than that, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then this is just on the back of the thing. Sorry, I like peeled it off the whole entire thing. So. Um, it says the Lash Hunting Brush, our exclusive 200 bristle brush shape stimulates the eyelids to capture the most beautiful effect. Touch every lash, even the smallest ones. Um, Each lash brush on your lash extension effect. No lash left in place. And then the liquid lash formula. Our advanced formula coats and lengthens lashes from coming root to tip with shocking length and intensity. Comfortably place your smudge free optometry and allergy <laughs> tested with suitable for sensitive eyes and contact with wear. To use, you just put the brush on and start from the root and you go up. And yeah. But other than that, this mascara is a really good mascara and I can't make a full legitimate review yet because I haven't tried it out just on my bare eyelashes so I'm going to be just doing that tomorrow and then I might upload this tonight you never know but other than that yes this is a good mascara from when I've used it already today this admit this product is really good it's worth your money um I don't know about the $14 one the original one but I got the shopping attention one so yeah this is a good product and I think it's worth your money it's really good and yeah um I don't know what else to say this is like the shortest review ever but anyway I think that what color is this this is in the color 983 which is I think it's carbon black I forgot the other one but I was going to get the voluminous one but I didn't get that one because it was eight dollars I mean it's cheaper than this one but I feel like I have a lot of brushes that are similar to that, and so I didn't want to really try it. I might do another review on that whenever I get that one. But right now, I just thought that I would get this one since, since, since it's twice. Since I can use this on my lower lashes too, and I won't like get it all over my eyes and anything. But I think I think I chose this because it was like a better one. It has a better brush, and I think it's good all overall. And it does. This is what the brush looks like. That. Yeah, that's what the first one And it's actually supposed to be pink, but since it has mascara all over it, and it does it. So if, what it basically does is it combs through your lashes, so when you like brush it, it just combs them instead of um, like regular mascara, just applies it, and as a clumpiness, you have to go through like coat after coat after coat just to make it full, but long, but not clumpy. So... This mascara is good for no clumps, as it said on here, no flakes. It didn't flake off at all today after I put it on. And, um, what did I put to say? And smudge free. Um, I've been rubbing my eyes all day. Um, this has not smudged at all. And my makeup has stayed on too. But, other than that, this mascara is good to go. I think you should go out and buy this product. Um, you can buy it anywhere. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you can buy it anywhere, like at... The, like at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, um, 
Walmart, Target, any place that sells like L'Oreal, you're good. So you can go like to Ulta or whatever like that. And um, some some places the prices may vary because it's it's the same product but it's like different you know, different places. So they might charge you higher or lower. So what I paid, I went to Rite Aid and I paid nine ninety nine. That's what I paid for this mascara. But other than that, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I also have a vlog channel, so subscribe to that. I post new vlogs every day, and I have a vlog that I'm about to post after this video. Oopsie. I have a vlog that I'm about to post after this video to, to, um, after this video, yeah, I'm gonna post a vlog that I did today. Um, usually they're about one minute to two minutes. Um, I'm gonna start making my vlogs longer. Because just because I want to, and I think it's better so you guys can see like my actual whole day from when I wake up till I go to sleep. So today's is not just gonna be like one to two minutes, and um, yeah. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and to the game, bye.